Well, we begin today in Mexico, where there are really more questions than answers after a truck carrying liquid gas exploded outside of a maternity hospital. The blast killed at least three people and injured 73. Authorities there have ordered an investigation into the accident. Neighbors say they smelt leaking gas sometime before the blast in the Cuajimalpa neighborhood of the capital. Local media are asking why a chaotic gas industry isn't properly regulated. From Mexico City, here's our correspondent Clayton Kahn. Today, 39 people remain hospitalized after yesterday morning's natural gas explosion at a maternity hospital here in Mexico City that left three dead. According to the mayor of Mexico City, Miguel Angel Mancera, 18 of those who remain in the hospital are in serious condition, with nine of those being infants. According to the health minister, one of those babies has burns on 80% of its body, and the authorities are seeking to evacuate the child to Galveston, Texas, in the United States, to a special burns unit. Also late yesterday evening, Mexico's president, Enrique Peña Nieto, made a visit to a nearby hospital where the injured were taken, declaring that the hospital which saw the explosion, uh, which also saw more than 6% of its structure collapse, will be rebuilt. As of now, three workers of the gas company Gas Express Nieto, which is believed to be behind the explosion, are detained and being charged with negligent manslaughter and damages. The gas explosion, which occurred at 7 a.m. on Thursday morning, struck the hospital filled with more than 110 people in the city's borough of Cuajimalpa, a mostly working-class neighborhood. This is Clayton Khan reporting for Telesur here in Mexico City.